what's up guys welcome back to another video on my youtube channel it's been a while i dropped a video on my youtube channel you guys have been sick and i'm not complaining because i promised you guys i'll be dropping back to back content but you know when you're sick you just take time and i know i left you guys with an important video on specialization i don't know i don't think i had a lot of interaction from that but that's fine that's fine i'm here to provide another video on color grading or i would say just a full edit in light room right i didn't shoot these images these images were shot by the amazing Cody black he's a nigerian i hit him up once i saw a rule of him shooting this particular video i mean this particular shot of course i saw the hairstyling from the model i was like hey this should look really interesting so i'm going to fully edit this image here in lightroom show people that you don't really need to go to photoshop to do a lot you can do majority of your edits in lightroom in terms of cleaning color grading maybe skin smoothening dodging and burning we'll see how best we can achieve a fully edited image here in lightroom the, the more work you can do in lightroom should give you the less work in photoshop i always preach this to people photoshop is just for skin work and i had a capture one on lightroom should be for you know color grading basic adjustments any other thing aside from skin work i think i provided a video on capture one where i did a full edit in capture one just because i wanted to try how to see i mean i wanted to see how i can um fully edit an image in like um, in capture one i did that i'll provide a link to the video you can go and watch it but in today's video we'll be doing the same thing for lightroom i'm using lightroom classic 2022 you guys should update yours uh, it's, it's really helpful i also have the capture one 2022 so if you have the chance to update it kindly do update it and follow along in this video but if you have any other older versions of lightroom i think it should still work which shouldn't be a problem well let's just take a look at the images i love the images i'm seeing over here like trust me these images came out great and i can't believe these images came from an icon camera well i always thought he was a canon shooter until i got these images from him and i was like whoa i'm um, looking at the information from the image like you can see so it's an icon camera uh, so a raw nef file Shutter speed 1 over 1000, f2.8, ISO 250, shot with an 85mm lens. Can I see any other details from that? Metadata, let's see. I don't think it gives the information on the camera. Alright, that's fine. That's not what we're about today. We are here to, you know, work on this image. I feel like I like the pose from here i also like the pose from here i like this very very much um that should be more or less like a photoshop work just because of the huge umbrella over here i could crop this feels really beautiful i i mean like as you can see the images came out really great that's a nice model nigerian models are really really fine i i, I have i have i have this crash of nigerian models i hope to one day you know if I have a second life, I should just be brought up in Nigeria just for the shooting part. Nothing else than the shooting part. Right. So we will go in with let's just color tag the important ones. I think this, that, this, maybe that. And I think the white ones work for me. Okay. So I've been able to sort out the images I want to edit. I have this, that, 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 and that. Right, so let's start with this. I have, this is the first time I'm editing this image or these images and just follow along as I color grade, edit, you know, do anything I have to do to this image. I haven't done any editing and that I'm about to apply it. So as I am editing, you also see me for the first time doing this. And that's that's what i feel most youtubers should do looking at the histogram i have majority of the information i think being shifted into the shadows my blacks are okay not enough highlights over there this is a high speed sync shot oh wow interesting also this is the preview and this is the develop i like what i'm seeing i like the colors from this nikon camera 
whatever Nikon camera he used, I love it. So first things first, this is a crop tool. I, I think I held R on the keyboard. You can choose to also come this way, crop. As you can see, you can see the shortcut key over the R. Then let's frame here very well in here, right? Then we have here in the middle, following the rule of thirds. Secondly, I come to my lens correction. I will enable lens correction just to take off the vignette. If I want it, I'll bring it back inside later. Um, remove chromatic aberration, of course. And let's see what transform can do for us today. I don't think I did anything just because of the cropping. No upright correction found. Well, that's true because we've already fixed that. If there was a horizon, a straight line, I think Lightroom could have done a better job. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try that on maybe this particular image. So lens correction checked. Transform. Yeah, I think I did something. So check the before and after. Okay, let's go back to the image we started with. I like the greens, I like the whites, you know, this, this is the color combination I usually tell you guys about when, you know, you want to take images. I feel like the light comes in from the right, it fills in what's a parabolic, an umbrella, sorry, a reverse umbrella. The lighting is sweet, the location is perfect, the model, beautiful, and this could have been fixed in Photoshop, you know, try and make sure both sides of the face have the same size of bun but yeah let's move forward so here in the basic i want to quickly show you guys that i have people who always ask me if my presets work on nikon shot images well this is my tjds preset this is my sun grade one sun grade two sunset grade one color i mean cloud grade one studio grade one studio grade two but other adjustments i can send this to what you usually see when i edit on my um canon images let's try it on this and see sun grid one sun grid two it will work it, it works all around so if you haven't bought it yet you can try and purchase that i'm going to leave a link down in the description box you can also check out if my profile let's see if my profiles work i think they do I like this a lot. My film, I like what it does to the greens. There's a standard Juno. Yep, the profiles also work. Okay, that's beside the point. So let's change the profile from Adobe Color to the camera match. I think there's a flat landscape. Ooh, neutral. Nah, portrait standard. I'm torn between land. I like the punchiness, I like the contrast landscape gives me. And this is standard. Standard takes away. Ooh. And vivid. Vivid and landscape. Let's see what's the difference. Okay, I think vivid is a better representation of the standard for Canon cameras. And I'll go with this. I'll go with vivid, right? I usually like to punch up my colors. Then later, you know, I'll play with this. Beautiful. And we'll play with that. I usually do this, you know, reduce the colors over here because when I go into the HSL tab and I'm working on specific colors, I can manipulate both saturation and hue. And I don't think I'm going to do anything to the hue because my own oh mind, the skin looks perfect. And let's open up our shadows a little bit, you know, highlights down just to bring back the details from the outfit, not too down. Open up our white a little bit. Let's see the blacks. Let's see. Do we have details in there? Let me see if I'm clipping in my blacks. Okay, I held J on the keyboard just so these two can turn on to check if I'm clipping. And currently, I'm not clipping. Usually, these days, I don't like to see too much texture. Like I said, I want to have less work in Photoshop. So, I don't add texture to my image. I sometimes take it out. Then, reduce my clarity. Right, to make to get to the overall softness over the image let me rotate this just a little bit yeah i think we're fine here so this is where we came from and this is where we at all right let me i usually like to add contrast here in the curves rather than the contrast slider in the basic tab and 
bring down my white make it a little bit faded you know right i'm going to add blues later into my shadows but that's all there is to it in my tone curve so before and after and i come to the hsl tab this is where all the magic happens for me right first off she's a dark melanin model right and i can also see that her face and her legs are having different contrast levels so i'm just going to paint over her leg area or better still right i can just pick up a linear gradient drag it out because i feel like the downside of the image needs to have a bit of contrast so i reduce the exposure let me keep dragging because it just hits the leg shoulder overlay yeah then increase the contrast now i have I think the contrast level between the upper part of the image and the downside are almost the same. Right. So let's go to saturation. Let me deal with saturation first. Let's see what colors are available in our image. When I pick up this, it shows me, okay, I'm in my greens right now. In the outfit, I can have purple. Like you can see the purple is highlighted. Blues are highlighted can sometimes have magenta in them so off my head my blues go down just to have my whites looking whitish this is how i make my whites white purples go down also magenta also goes down not too much so this is what i'm working at right then greens not too much so this is where we came from i feel like i can leave the greens this way and play with the luminance right and the more you darken a color the more saturated it looks the more you brighten the color ooh, the less saturated it looks you see if i darken it, it looks perfect it makes her stand out there's a tone of separation all right let me see beautiful just beautiful when i increase it to um the separation isn't that much because i've lost color but when i bring back the color in there i feel like the separation becomes perfect now right so i'm torn between this and that but i feel like the main aim if you take a look at the before usually that's why i like to keep up my before the main aim is to have some massive separation because of the idea behind the shoot it was a high speed and shoot so i'm not going to you know just reduce this not too much all right let's see what the yellows that okay okay the yellows also have been taken away from the outfit but i feel like i'm losing a lot so i'm just going to leave it here all right my skin let's turn the skin by reducing the luminance of the orange all right and if you heard what i said earlier the more you reduce the luminance of a particular color, the more saturated it becomes. So as I reduce my luminance, I also reduce my saturation just to tone it down. I'll follow it up with the reds and also tone down the reds. There we go. There we go. Just take a look at that. I like, I like, I like what I'm saying. Okay, so I don't think I'll do anything to the hues. Or should I? Let's play along with the greens. I am so tempted to do this, but this feels like a grade from the old times. Uh, I'm not into that. You know, the greens are supposed to look green. I'm going to move. I like the color separation with the green so this is a before and after before and after i feel like we should reduce this a little bit the exposure all right let's see with the oranges two reds let's make it a little bit yellowish same can be said for that okay Let's take away some blemishes. 
you know that that okay I feel like the greens are too much now I should use the greens and let's bring back some color into the skin before and after let me see if we play with the yellows okay okay all right i think we'll open up the yellows okay so there's one other thing i also want to do create a radial radiance max over her face right and let's increase i think let's do that for the whole image i'll invert it then i'll rather reduce the opacity yep this should look better okay now what's next what's next we are still here let's send this back let's put some blues into the shadow and after before and after if you can see the hint of blue in the shadow makes it all right so i feel like the image has gone cold i didn't touch anything concerning you know the white balance so i'm going to put back some warmth here in the color gradient straight off i'll go into my midtones hold shift on the keyboard and make sure i'm working somewhere around here and i'm moving the saturation so i dial it in too much then i keep moving it back just so that i can see how massive or how effective it is to the image so before and after right i'll still push some blues or some purple in the shadows and i'll do the same thing for highlights also when you do that, it adds some bit of drama to the image. Right? Look at the outfit. It looks dreamy. It doesn't look weird. Does it? Okay. So let me go to the greens over here. Let's see. Let's create a five point curve and in our highlight we're pushing some greens yeah okay okay so you're looking at a dark and moody image i like what i'm seeing detailing like i said i'm not looking at a very sharp image so soften it up Done lens correction, camera calibration. Usually, I like to play around with the saturation of the green primary just to see how it's going to affect my image, and mostly it works. Yep, let's push some greens into the shadows. Let's see before and after, before and after add some greens to this and there we have this right, let's add some let's see the vignette also midpoint we've already added a vignette so we're not going to add a lot over here minus two should be fine okay so this is where we started from which is the before 
and this is where we just ended up at just take a look at how color grading in Lightroom has changed our image from this to that so let's copy you know the settings we just did for this Ooh, such a beautiful image such a beautiful model a beautiful shot right let's apply it on see this image let's see works very well but i don't like the haze from the top over here so i'm going to crop in all right let's see before and after okay with this we can do this all right copy that also that's how you end up with the cohesive edit all right you don't usually create something different let's change this for y5 always works then always works uh, before and after currently we have one two three so let me copy this again and apply it on this because they have the same origin right yep the work is done so let's remove this by using the spot removal tool you can draw also just take a look at that all right let's give some vignette to this it all right so this is the before and after for this before and after for that and that also and this also this looks very perfect very beautiful i will have to send this to photoshop this particular image i love it i love what i'm seeing so if you enjoyed this video and you want more and you want to see the part two version of where i send this to photoshop kindly let me know down in the comment section box below leave any comments at all to this set video if you have any concerns about it ask me questions you know the more you interact with me the more i feel like you enjoy the content and i need to produce more thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe to my channel as usual i'm hoping 2022 will be better i'll be feeling better to produce more videos and I'm going to leave a link down to, you know, Cody's um, Instagram handle. Go check him out, guys. He's a really good photographer in Nigeria. I hope to, you know, work with him once I find myself in Nigeria one time. Right. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to share this knowledge to other people just so that, you know, they will be able to learn a lot from my channel. I produce a lot of content concerning color grading, teaching you what to do when it comes to you know editing and shooting and all that don't forget to also go watch the video my video on how to improve your retouching especially when i talk about screen calibration because if my screen wasn't calibrated i don't think my coloring would be better as it looks over here thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you in my next one don't forget to subscribe and happy peace